Hey everyone, what is going on? So I am battling my friend Green Heron VA, so it's always a pleasure battling her. And her team is going to be Needle King, Vaporia, and Gramble. Umbreon, Tyranitar, very interesting, and Raichu, and my team will be Umbreon, Needle Queen, Alolan Raticate, Alolan Ninetales, Linoon, as well as Bee Barrel, and she's actually using a full shiny team, so that's really cool as well. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to use Alolan Raticate to see if it's a solid Pokemon to replace Umbreon, like if you don't have a last resort one, should you still go with Umbreon, should you go with Alolan Raticate, or should you scrap them both together? Well, uh, I decided to test out Alolan Raticate, and my impressions are that, I mean it is a bulky Pokemon, you know, it's not as bulky as Umbreon, but it could definitely take hits. Um, the one problem I have besides that with Alolan Raticate is that it does not charge up as fast as Umbreon does. I mean, it takes four Snarls to get to Foul Play, so it could just spam Foul Plays back to back. It's super quick. Alolan Raticate takes a little bit longer, so it's not as spammy. I mean, you're not going to get off as many hits, and I just don't think it's as good. If you do have Hyper Beam on Alolan Raticate, I don't think most players will probably expect that. They'll be expecting Hyper Fang, which is what I have, as well as Crunch. But if you have Crunch and Hyper Beam, which obviously is going to take longer to get to, uh, they, that would definitely catch them off guard. That's no, there's no doubt about that. So that could be a good way to go, and you might that might be something that you want to consider trying out. But uh, I still think I'm going to be using Umbreon, although I didn't hate Alolan Raticate. I thought that it was okay, but uh, I still think Umbreon is probably the way to go. I mean, at the end of the day, both of them are basically going to lose to Charm anyway. I guess if you get off that Hyper Beam with Alolan Raticate, then you'll be able to knock out a Charm user. But um, yeah, I, I would say I would probably stick with Umbreon, but yeah, it it's really tough to say. I mean, I, do I thought Raticate was okay. But either way, he's going to bring in his Umbreon and actually finish off my Alolan Ninetale. She is, excuse me. Uh, so she's going to go ahead and knock out that Ninetale. So she does go ahead and take the first game. So that's awesome. Uh, congratulations. Nicely played. Uh, she was asking me for some advice. And I tried to help her out the other day. And she's been following my advice. And she's been doing really well. So that's awesome. But the next game, she does lead with Needle King. Now, Shiny Needle King cannot have Fury Cutter. It can... Uh, only the regular one can, but I was totally blanking on it. I was assuming Fury cut it in the battle. So that's something to keep in mind if they're using like a shiny Needle King. You have to know, well you don't have to, but you should know, it does not have Fury Cutter. So I switched out my Alolan Raticate because, as I said, going to be weak to that Fury Cutter. So I probably didn't have to switch out had I remembered, okay, it's shiny, can't have Fury Cutter. But um, that's okay. That uh, is okay, it has Poison Jab just like my Needle Queen does. So I'm going to go ahead and bring back a little Raticate. Trying to charge up some energy. We'll be able to take this hit even if it is a last resort as it is, as I expected it to be. So as you see, still a tanky Pokemon. Still can take hits, but can't take hits as well as Umbreon. We're going to go ahead and go for Crunch and then try to knock out Umbreon before she can get off another charge move. So we are successfully able to do that. And then we go for Crunch against Nido King, and I was expecting a shield at this point, as it does come up. So, trying to get to another one, and are we able to do so? Yes, we are. So, expecting another shield because she probably doesn't want her first shield to go to waste. So, there she goes. Gonna go ahead and use one. And she will get off a charge move against us. So, since I'm up two shields, I decide to burn one right now. It is an Earth Power. And we are able to get to Crunch on this Alolan Raticate. So, a uh, nice little tanky rat. It's really fun. I've really enjoyed it in the past. Now, if you want to try a different version of Alolan Raticate, you could try it with Bite. Uh, Bite could definitely be a solid way to go, and I'll have to try it out. Mine has Quick Attack, but Bite could be good. So I switched out immediately into Needle Queen without seeing what she had in the back. It happens to be Vaporeon, uh, but that's fine with me because I knew I'd be able to not only take an Aqua Tail, but I also had a shield, and I knew I'd be able to get to Earthquake and win. So I basically knew whatever she had in the back was probably going to lose to Needle Queen. So uh, I bring in my Alolan Raticate, and she brings in her Vaporeon. So I think I just hang around, stick around uh, during this fight. We are taking a decent amount of damage from that Water Gun, but that is okay. Gonna go ahead and go for that Crunch, just to try and get as much damage as possible. So one more Crunch will be able to finish her off. She does go ahead and get an Aqua Tail, and I'm just going to let this one go through. Uh, as you can see, doesn't really do that much, because Aqua Tail is not a strong move. 
plus uh, we're able, plus we're a tanky Pokemon. Now we survive. I was hoping to get to another crunch. We were not able to. So perhaps I should have used the shield to get to another crunch, which would have either knocked out the Vaporeon or forced the shield, but that's okay. So we knock out that Vaporeon with the Lola Ninetales. She brings in Grab Ball, and here is the problem. I was getting ready to switch, and now I'm totally lagging. I can absolutely not do anything. Now she stopped attacking because I was lagging. Uh, which I appreciate. This is obviously not her fault, but um, you know, there's nothing I could do. Trying to click all over the screen, I get a charm off, and then she gets a couple charms off. So I literally do no damage to the screen, but a little bit of damage before I faint. And uh, but it's okay, it happens. So if you want to, you don't have to count this game because of the legs, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you could count it. We can give her the win. I'm not sure who would have won if I didn't lag. It was relatively close, you know. So. In the tournaments, we probably would have um, restarted. But as you saw, she did stop attacking, which I certainly appreciate. Uh, but uh, yeah, either way, it doesn't really matter. That's okay. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and get off a Surf against this Umbreon. Originally, I wanted to switch out into my Umbreon against the Granville, but that didn't go through either. But that's okay. You know, that's okay. I still decided to leave the game in. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and shield this foul play. And yeah, it's definitely not looking good for us. We're not going to win this one. Definitely not going to win this one. So she does get off a of foul play, and that will knock out B-Battle after, like, one more snarl. So we do go ahead and faint. I actually lagged at the last second as well, but that didn't matter at that point. So good game. She does go ahead and win that one. We're going to jump into another one. I do lead with Minin, and she leads with Raichu. Now, generally speaking, this does favor Minin because although Raichu charges up faster and it also has a neutral Brick Break, if that's what she has, it actually isn't. She has Wild Charge and Thunder Punch. But uh, if it has Brick Break, uh, we're still doing more damage with Thunderbolt, you know, because Minin is bulky and Raichu is not so wild charge will hit us and we're able to tank that and then we're able to go for the discharge against the Raichu and as I said Raichu is a really squishy Pokemon so we will go ahead and knock it out she decides not to use shields and then she brings in the Granbull and I was trying to get to one more discharge not able to happen I will bring in my Nido Queen and she switches into Umbreon and I was about to pull the switch expecting a Vaporeon but um you know, it's just an Umbreon, so I decided to go for the Earthquake. Wasn't expecting a shield, because Umbreon can generally take hits quite nicely. Uh, I am going to go ahead and let this attack go through. I figured she has enough for two foul plays, so we switch in between to catch the second one with B-Barrel. Now, the reason I wanted to do that is because I wanted to save my Needle Queen for the Gramble in the back, because I knew she had Gramble, and I knew Poison Jabs would just go to town on it. So I am going to go ahead and block this foul play with my B-Barrel to try and get to a Surf. Actually, I try and faint down the Umbreon. So we are able to faint it and then go for Surf. I just wanted to burn the shields at this point. So we are going to go for the Surf and burn a shield and try to get to another one. And we are successfully able to get to another one before we go down. And this will definitely burn the last shield. Otherwise, that would have knocked down Gramble. So we do have the Needle Queen ready to go. I figured she would get to the charge move, and but we do have a shield. So we, we are going to go ahead and shield that close combat and just faint down the um, Pokemon with Poison Jab. So we do go ahead and pull this one out. So nicely played. Uh, nicely played. We are playing in the Master League just to help me build my badge. I think she needs the badge as well. I'm not too sure. But for the next game, I lead with my Fat Cat. Not Fat Cat. Fat Rat. Alolan Raticate. She leads with Tyranitar. I switch into Ninetales. Sh she switches into Umbreon. I assume this was a mistake because she also has a Vaporeon in the back. So she probably meant to switch into Vaporeon. I've done that before, I did it the other day, so it, it, it happens. Obviously it's a mistake, but it's it's a little mis- I mean, it, it just, it happens, you know. <laughs> There's nothing to say about it. So we're gonna be hit with Last Resort, I'm totally fine with that. Charging up energy, we have enough for a Psy Shock, as well as an Ice Beam, and I do go for the Psy Shock. I figured Vaporeon might come in because she maybe wanted to catch the Ice Beam. She does block it. We actually fall. I was not clicking on Psy Shock. That's because I didn't think I had enough for a Psy Shock. So perhaps a mistake on my end. Should have been clicking on the Psy Shock to try and get it. She switches into Tyranitar. I immediately switch into my Nido Queen. And I wasn't sure what move this had. I was expecting a Crunch. It is a Crunch. Uh, so we do go ahead and block it. And I go for the Earth Power against this Tyranitar. And that will knock out Tyranitar. No shield on her end. She does bring in the Vaporeon. 
And I believe I let this go. Yeah, I do I do let that go through. It does do a lot to us because we are weak to it and we're not able to get to another Earth power. Totally fine because we do have the Alolan Raticate, which I will be able to crunch. Now, obviously, this will be met with a shield, but I know not only can I take an Aqua Tail, but I also have a shield, so I am not concerned at this point. I will go ahead and block this Vaporeon, and she actually does get to another Aqua Tail, but again, Aqua Tail is a weak move, and because we're bulky, I knew I would have this one. So we do go ahead and get to the crunch, and we're going to be able to successfully win this game. But again, Umbreon would have done the same job, even better. But we do go ahead and win that thanks to Alolan Raticate, so good boy. <laughs> we do go ahead and win that one. Uh, and let's see what else we got. We got another game here. So I do lead with B Barrel and she leads with Gramble. Now I believe I stay in this match even though it's a losing match for me. Well, it's a losing match if she use, uses shields, which I basically am expecting shields because you don't want to lose your Gramble. So I do go ahead and go for the Surf. As I said, she does go ahead and shield, hoping to get to one more, but there was no way. Although it was super close, I bring in Needle Queen, and she goes for a charge move. Now, I was expecting Crunch. She actually goes for close combat, which tells me she might not have Crunch. I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe she didn't purchase a secondary move. Maybe she doesn't have Crunch. Uh, I switch in immediately against the Vapoyan. She switches into Raichu. And she is going to go ahead and hit us with a charge move. I do decide to shield this. Fearing Wild Charge, but it is a Thunder Shock, so nicely played, nice bluff on her end. I am going to go for the Psy Shock against the Raichu, and that will be met with the Shield, so that's good for us. You know, I was hoping to knock out the Raichu, unfortunately we were not able to do so. And she does hit us with a Wild Charge, which knocks us out, but I was actually okay with that, because now I could bring in Needle Queen and charge up enough energy that would get us to Earthquake before an Aqua Tail. Now, I believe Needle Queen could have survived an Aqua Tail at that range, but better be safe than sorry. We do go ahead and knock out the Vaporeon, so uh, we do go ahead and win this one. So, again, another good game. Another good game. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into one more. I do lead with my Minin, and she leads with Umbreon, and I believe I just stick around in this match. I'm just going to go ahead and try and fire off Thunderbolts, just because I am not expecting a shield. I mean, Umbreon can take any move Minin throws at it, so might as well go for the Thunderbolt. And let's see if I'm successfully able to get to another. So she does go ahead and fire off a Foul Play. Um, again, kind of expecting two foul plays. It's actually a last resort, so she gets off a last resort and foul play. I feel like two foul plays would have been better, but uh, that's okay. So we go ahead and get to that Thunderbolt. So let's see if she shields this. We are able to get an excellent, and she does not shield it. She's very low, hoping to faint down with sparks. I actually decide to sacrifice a shield so I could have the switch advantage. Could have let Minum go down, but we do go ahead and do that. So I am just going to click on Discharge. I figured it would be a Needle King if she had it with her just so it would take resistant damage. So good play on her end and she's able to knock out Minin. So we're going to go ahead and bring in B-Bell. She switches into Vap Vapoyan. I switch into Ninetales immediately. Now I could have stayed in with B-Bell, probably should have, but again, it's okay. We're going to go ahead and shield this and trying to knock down the Vapoyan. Unfortunately, she gets off another Aqua Tail, which I think we take. Yeah, we take it, and then we're able to knock out Vaporeon. So we have an Ice Beam, as well as a Psy Shock, but she does have two shields to my zero, which is really unfortunate. So I probably burn those shields a little bit too early. I am going to go for the Ice Beam 100% expecting the shield. She has the shield because she knows what moves Ninetales has, and she will finish us off. And now we bring in B-Barrel, and I'm like, okay, we're probably going to win this. We'll burn the last shield with Surf, and then all we have to do is faint down with Water Guns, because at this range, we could take an Earth Power. Uh, so she go does go ahead and fire off a Charge move. I was expecting an Earth Power. It's a Sludge Wave, and she knocks us out. So she wins that one, and that's going to be it for this video, guys. See you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.